Heads up. And back inside, Daniel Negranu has his own poker website, enjoying his rock star status in the poker community. Just made $5 by signing that autograph. We take you back to our featured table now for this quarterfinal match. James McManus and Chris Ferguson trying to get into the semifinals. Blinds at 8 and 16,000. And during the break, Ferguson picked up some blinds and is actually in the lead now. He's got a pair of eights here, and he's going to go all in. I got a squeezer. Jim says he's got a squeezer. He's got a queen and a nothing across, an ace, deuce, or a three. If it's an ace, he's going all in along with him. Oh. But it's a deuce. You got to squeeze better than that, Jim. Squeeze that yeah, ace sorry, in there. <laughs> an easy hand for McManus to fold. Would have been interesting if it was an ace. It would have been a 50-50 proposition. Is that 8-8? Eight, eight? Pair of eights. Nice hand. Chris Ferguson picks up the blinds to increase his lead. Ooh, I like the queen. Like the queen. He liked the queen, and he was hoping for the ace. Chris's girlfriend, Fabiola. Hoping for Chris Ferguson to win the whole thing this year. And he's got the lead right now. Don't look at me while I look at my cards, OK? okay. There's, uh, there's, uh... I'm watching down the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> queen seven for McManus. It's going to cost him 8000 a call. Maybe he's contemplating another move here. He surprised us before. But this time he's just going to call. Jim McManus calls on his button. Nine five for Ferguson. And he lets it go. Checks. Flop is seven nine four. Both players flop a pair. Chris has got top pair, pair of nines. Probably make a little bet here. Jim McManus has a sevens with the queen kicker. Ferguson bets out 25,000. And Jim oh. McManus, wow, is going all in with a pair of sevens. It's going to be a really tough call for Chris Ferguson. He has nines with a terrible kicker of five. And if he would lose this hand, he would be in very bad shape. This is a really tough call. I call. He calls. Wow, he calls. And pretty quick by his own standards. And a great call. He knew something about how Jim McManus plays. He's been observing him this whole tournament. He didn't think he was beat. Maybe he put Jim McManus on a draw, straight draw, flush draw. He thought his nines were the best hand, and he was right. And now Jim McManus is going to need a queen or a seven or two hearts to win this hand and stay in the match. Otherwise, Chris Ferguson's going to the semifinals again this year. Turn is a jack of spades, and only a queen or a seven now can save McManus from elimination. I saw the trace of a smile on the face of Chris Ferguson there, I could swear. Can the Irish get lucky one more time? Here Keep your head up, lad. Maybe a queen or seven's coming. River. Two of clubs. And once again, Chris Ferguson goes even deeper into the tournament. He advances to the semifinals again this year. Thank you. Good job, you. <laughs> Chris Ferguson, one of the classiest acts in the field, moves on again. And Chris's girlfriend is happy. But you gotta hand it to Jim McManus. He's not a professional, and he put up a hell of a run in this tournament. Even in this match with Chris Ferguson. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Chris. <laughs> so the round of eight is complete in the clubs and spades brackets. Chris Ferguson defeats James McManus to move to the semifinals, where he'll face Huck Seed, who beat Barry Greenstein in the spades bracket. Two X World Champions going head to head. The puncher Chris Ferguson against the counter puncher Huck C. Catherine Tappins with the winner. Chris Ferguson back in the semifinals. You have won nine of your last ten matches in the two years of this tournament. You're a confident player, but even you might not have imagined this. No, I mean it's very hard to do. You can't uh, you can't count on uh, beating anyone. It's it's uh, there are so many great players in this tournament that there are a lot of tough matches. I've gotten very lucky so far in the last two years. So I'm very 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 happy, very proud to. 
How would you evaluate your play this year from your play last year? I think it's very. I mean, it's it's pretty similar. Uh, I'd say I've probably slowed down a little bit, uh, probably trying to play a couple more pots with people. But when the blinds get up there, there's not that much you can do. You have to gamble. All right, Chris, best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. For Gabe Kaplan and Catherine Tappan. This is Matt Vaskersian saying so long from Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. We'll see you next time. It's a-